it's finished, mister. Now maybe you'll tell me why you need it. <laughs> we need it to find gold. It's a new system. Get going, move it out. The work's done. Now pay me that $20. You're coming to partnership with us instead. I'm a man who likes to feel the cash. It's something you can trust. Now, just how in the devil is that damn machine going to get any gold? Don't know. Looks like something funny. All right. Hold on. That's enough. Hold on to that mule, can't you? Hold him still. All right. Move her. Come on, get that animal moving. Come on. Come on, come on. All right, come on, come on. Hurry up. What's that stupid thing for? They say it's a new way of digging for gold. Come on, push the thing a little, will ya? Everybody in the village thinks we're a bunch of idiots. Just what we wanted. No one's gonna take us seriously. <laughs> Come on, push it! Come on, get push it, it over! Most impressive indeed. It may be as impressive as all get out, mister, but nobody's gonna find gold with that. Some people just like to throw their money away, I guess. That's a newfangled kind of digging machine, I imagine. What the hell's this machine for? Finding gold, Sheriff. Now, it won't work. Forget about it. We'll never know till we try it out. All right, look out. Move her out of the middle of the road. It's working, it really is. <laughs> That damn thing will never make it to the mountains. Uh -huh. All right, bring her on this end. Bring her on. More, more, come on. All right, now take it easy there. Take it easy, I said, damn it. Take it easy up there. Hold on. That's better. All right. Now move her back a little. Come on. Push on both sides, will you? All right. Just like that. Come on now. Slow her down, damn it. Slow her down. All right, now easy does it. Easy does it. Back her up slow. Now stop her. Stop right, I said, damn it. What's the matter? Can't you hear? This is the bank, mister. Get that contraption out of here. Sure, sure, that's what I'm trying to get do. Get that thing see? away from the bank or I start shooting. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said get. Can't you just hold on a minute? Can't seem to get it moving again. What in the devil's going on out there? Why ask me? How should I know for Pete's sake? I'm losing my patience. Get the damn thing out of here. I think we got it fixed now. We've got ten seconds to get that thing away, and then I start shooting. Again, quick, hurry! Stand where you are. The first one to move gets it. You two, take the windows. Jack, over to the safe. Give me the sack. Come on! Open it. Get it open. Sure, is it, sure, mister. Just so don't shoot. Yo, move over to one side. Oh. Much. You'll have plenty of time to make it over again if you keep on breathing. <laughs> Stop wasting time, Jack. It's all right. I'm through. <laughs> Thanks for everything. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's the money, boss. On your guns, man. Don't move. You're all under arrest. What about it, Sheriff? Did my machine find gold like I told you, or didn't it? Yeah, too bad it turned out to be the wrong kind of vein, huh? Move. Put your hands down. Throw them in. Come on, move. Move, I said. What do we do about him? You just go to sleep. You're the ones that try to hold up the bank. That's right. We're the five idiots from the bank. What are you in for? Hmm? Oh, I stole someone's horse. Whenever I see one, I just gotta ride it. <laughs> <laughs> An idiot. And we're not? We let the boss walk all over us. You could have expected it from that son of a bitch. God help him if I ever get Shut my up. hands on him. And just go to sleep like good boys. for a smoke there. Uh, how about let me finish off that cigar, huh? Hey, what the hell's got me in all of you? Stop it! I didn't you hear what I said? Quit that ruckus, damn it! Stop it! Stop it! I go back to sleep. guns and run. Let's go, horse thief. You can have one of your own in a minute. A horse? Oh, for me?
if you want. No, I'll stick around, thanks. Guess he felt like changing jobs. Wants to be a bandit. Well, now what do we do? The boss has got too much of a head start. No sense just riding out after him. And who knows where he was heading? I know where to look for him. Wherever there's a lot of women around. Come on. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I'm not. Shut up. Nobody's stopping you from leaving. <laughs> oh, bartender. Listen. I'd like to know, by chance, been anybody around here by the name of Ted Hallam. A real son of a bitch kind. With a scar on his left wrist and lots of money. Plenty of them around here. The one with a scar. I'm not sure, I think. Listen to me. You've got a good memory. You'll live longer, son. Oh, well, mister. I mean, I don't know. I could ask the boss lady. That's a mighty good idea. And move! Some men down there looking for you. Thanks, Ram. Guess you saved my life. Not really. Would have killed him just the same. How come you're worried about it and not me? Well, snakes don't know what they are, so it makes them dangerous. Let me tell you something. A lot of men are a lot more like snakes than you figured. So I'll need uh, cigars, flour, whiskey, coal, and some ammunition, I guess. Yeah. So now you doctoring them stinking Indians. And their women, so they can get well and breed some more stinking Indians. Uh -huh. I don't really care what people look like. I even cure animals. And if I really had to, I'd take care of you, too. <laughs> you love her. The town seems all excited. What's up? There's a fair tomorrow. Ah. I've got to get this cleared up once and for all. Speak of the devil, look. I'm going to the store a minute. I'll wait for you here. It won't be long. Hello, darling. I went by your house. I said you'd left. You look beautiful today. It's been a month since I saw you. How have you been? Not bad. Things are looking up. Oh, Slim, I'll be by a little later. Good enough. I came across a little valley bursting with otter and beaver. We can get married in the spring. No, oh, Joe, you've been saying that forever, it seems. But this time it's true. I'll build you the prettiest little house in town. I don't believe you, Joe. It's the same thing you've been saying all along. You have to have faith in me. Come to the fair tomorrow. I have to talk to you. Why not today? Look, you know how much I love you, don't you? <laughs> Look, please, I'm terribly busy today. Come see me tomorrow, will you? Well, how did it go? I just opened the subject and no more tomorrow.
rotten bastard! Hurry up, spread out. Don't worry, he won't get away now. Don't be too sure he's smarter than the devil and he's carrying money, our money. Surround him. Hurry up. Yeah, he knows every inch of this territory. We take one step in there and we're all as good as dead. Look, the horse must have thrown him. He's got to be around here. All right, spread out, all of you. I thought so, he's wounded. Look for him, he won't be far off. Get your horses!
for me. They're coming, Joe. Watch out. Keep your eyes. Keep your eyes open. If you're not careful, they'll murder you. Just keep quiet. Let me look. Uh, 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 no. Forget it. There's a map in his pocket. There are... There are... A hundred... hundred thousand dollars. Where the trees... Where the trees have been cut down. But be careful. Careful. Bandits. Careful. Thanks, Dan. Not interested in five dollars. You know him, right? Sure came straight as an arrow to you. You gonna answer, mister? Saw him for the first time today. Didn't he give you something or tell you something before he died? He was already dead when I found him. I can make him talk! Why, you miserable... Hold it! We got nothing against you, friend. We just want to see what you got on you. Keep an eye on them. We'll take a look in the house. Find anything? Jack and Chuck, stay with him wherever he goes. We'll come back and spell you in a couple of days. Right back. 
Tom asked me to marry him. When did you answer? You know I'm in love with you. You let me think so. No, it's true, but you've done nothing to win me. You mean I've done nothing to buy you? It's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing at all. You're forgetting love. I almost think we're watching a lover's quarrel, Chuck. It reminds me of my first girlfriend, Frances. Boy, did she do me in. It was lucky I found out in time she had three little kids. <laughs> From three different fathers, huh? Oh, no. They were all mine. <laughs> Love's beautiful, perfect. There's nothing better in the world. But it's not enough to get married on. I want a life I can be sure of, Joe. I don't want to have to worry about the next day. What's a marriage without love? Or a marriage without a home. Is that your last word? It's the only one. Hey, you and me just saw the end of a great love. Well, you just know he's better off without that one. What are you gonna do? Kill yourself? No, nah, the water's not deep enough for drowning. <laughs> well, would you look at what he had hidden in the stream? Looks like we're gonna get a drink, huh? <laughs> Come on, we gotta help cheer up our friend. Do is get drunk, we're all for it. He can help you along. <laughs> you having some? Pretty stupid question. That. Hey, don't let it get you down, friend. You'll find another one. <laughs> Come on, drink up and be good. Right. Ugly anyway, forget about it. <laughs> and you know, girls like that, only thing they can do is break a man down. <laughs> and only an idiot like you would go for one like that in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> to a poor fellow when he falls in love with a nice girl. <laughs> it ain't fair. It just ain't fair. <laughs> Go with the saloon, ladies. They are a hell of a lot more honest. <laughs> and when you're tired of one, you just give her a kick in the seat of the pants and take yourself another. <laughs> Tell you what. We'll find you one. Mm -hmm. A girl with pretty eyes. And no big problem. All you have to do is tell us where the map is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd better forget about it. It's what you get after going around after nice girls. <laughs> my friend. My, my Indian friend. <laughs> you see tomorrow, you won't even remember his stupid name. <laughs> Just don't worry, my friend. My poor 
idiot friend. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Have a drink instead, like I do. I'll take the first claim. Chuck, you stand guard. I'll spare you in a couple of hours. I asked her, where's Joe? He's not in the cabin. He got away. The dynamite, get down!
Got a couple hours on it. Yeah. Morning. I do. Morning. Hey, those are the horses they stole last month. You're right. Hands up, mister. Get down off there, you horse thief. Oh, get him over here. We didn't kill you. All them nice horses. And we just need a couple. Come on, Jack. You two keep us covered. Sam, get back a little. Afternoon. Funny, I could swear I saw those horses the other night. Could be. We just got them back a little while ago from a damn horse well, thief. If they're for sale, I'll take them. All three of them. All you need is money, friend. Here you are. That enough? That'll do. Follow Joe's horse. He'll take us to him. Come on! Come on! Here's where they took the horses back. Looks like they roughed him up a little, too. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.
somewhere around here. Keep your eyes open. Chuck, go get him. Hold on. Look up there. There he is, that son of a bitch. We'll get him now, bastard! You two take the horses and go wait for us at the ghost town. We'll get after him on foot. All right, let's get a move on. Come on! Come on, eh? Spend the night out here. He could ambush us easy if we went into the woods. He has to rest too, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got to be as tired as we are. You take the lead.
Look, there's campfire. A snake! He must have known we'd come poking around his campsite. Here. Medicine man, you wanted to burn us alive in that cabin, eh? Well, believe me, you're gonna get it all back. Let's start making him talk a little, eh? Oh, we better wait for the boss. I don't think he'd want to miss out on it. Well, well, well. What a pleasant surprise. We're running our old friend Joe. On time. Now, listen to me. You know where that money is, but you'll never get your grubby hands on it. If you don't want to wind up the same way, Ted, did you better decide to talk? All right, if you like fairy tales. Tell us where the money is or you'll be sorry. Our former boss gave you a map. Uh -huh. Or else he told you where the money was hidden. Talk, you <laughs> bastard! Go on, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy idiot. You blinded him, you stupid pig. He can't see at all anymore. It's better. Well, this way he'll learn that we're playing for keeps and he'll stop acting like a clown and trying to get away. That boss. No. You ruined the whole damn thing, Sam. I just went to scare him. You ruined it. You miserable idiot. <laughs> Tell us anything now, damn it. Yeah, we got no use for a blind man. Don't worry about it. You better stay here. Keep a watch on him from a distance without letting him know it. All right. Make sure you do it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah those girls aren't too bad, you know, not too bad. But I'd like to see you up there instead, my dear. I show off in pride. <laughs> uh huh. Because he never gives anything What's away. That? You know that. You're both beautiful, but I can only manage one at a time. I was here first, Marilyn, so you'd better just go to another table. Mm -hmm. Miserable witch enough to do that to me. Oh, I have to take oh, it from you. Get her! <laughs> Marilyn, stop 
said immediately. Do you hear me? Such disgraceful goings on in my saloon. Now get packing, the two of you. I'm really ashamed of you. This is a genteel place, isn't it? Oh, sure. You bet, Rosie. All right, come on. Let's have some music going. Well, I'll tell you. I've been thinking it over. It's a deal. I'll do it. But one thing. First of all, the money. I don't think I'm asking for much. I just feel safer with the money in the bank. Well, if money in the bank were so safe, I wouldn't be here at all. But if it means all that to you... Here. You can start off with that. What happened to you? My eyes. They burnt them out. Oh, my Lord, who was it? Indians? No, not Indians. You mean you can't see at all? Nothing. I wish there was something I could do. You must come with me. Here, try to get up. Look for, look for my saddlebags. They're in the saloon. All right. Here's the wagon. Does that feel better now? Yes, thanks. You know, you're very handsome. And you're very kind. Any feeling back in your eyes? Not yet. Have you got anywhere to go? Parents, a wife, a girl? No. But I can buy one. You've given me two hours out of your life without asking for anything back. Give me just a couple of days, and I'll make you rich. I hope it doesn't cost me what it costs you. You'll have to, to keep a lookout, you see? If anyone follows us, we'll turn back. All right. But now you've got to rest a bit, Joe. We'll start tomorrow morning. Hmm? Thanks. Now, that wasn't bought, Joe.
baked beans for supper tonight. Nothing fancy. Not only that, but I'm a terrible cook. You'll just have to make do. I'm not worried. I'll take my chances. Joe, I'm curious. What are you looking for exactly? What are you after? Hundred thousand dollars. Stolen dollars. I'm the only one who knows where it's been hidden. But I can't find it without eyes. I guess I'll just have to help you then. Then you can't see me, Joe. I'm considered very beautiful. That goes for everything. No, nah, then it is a shame. Men are very generous to me, or they try to be. They pay whatever I ask, even more. But I think I'm priceless. <laughs> What's it say, boss? <laughs> She's getting along real fine. Clever little thing, that girl. <laughs> She's gonna take a streak of that damn money, ain't she? Don't get too impatient, that's all. Make sure he doesn't know we're around. Come on, let's get a move on. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, cut out that damn yelling. Maybe he's blind, but he's still got his ears. Up. We still following the river? Yes. How about the two big rocks? Haven't seen them yet. And nobody's following us? Nobody at all. Come on. Up. There's a big herd of cattle here. We're lucky. That means we'll have something decent for supper tonight. No beans. Sound good? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get something to eat? Why, sure. Mmm, so good. Here, is that enough? Oh, no, I wouldn't take any money, ma'am. Come here. Well, what do you want? Well, let's make a deal. You want my meat, and I want yours. Come here, you. Oh, 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 o
All right, come on. There in a couple of days, Rosie. And your trip will be over. I suppose. How about afterward? I'll be rich. And happy? How do I know? I never tried. <laughs> I haven't either. I wanted to thank you, and I mean it, for everything you've been and done for me. I've been dying of curiosity about one thing. About your girlfriend. I mean, what was she like? Oh. Young and lovely. And stupid, huh? I suppose all girls who know nothing of life are. I think you need a girl like me. Maybe. Maybe. I must say, you smoke a lot. This is my last. I saved it for a special event. Hey, you'll ruin it like that. All right, you open it then. It's the map to that hundred thousand dollars. The line in the middle is the river. Can you find where it's written? Yes. The two rocks. The mark that's above it in dark ink. That's the woods, you see. It's in Indian territory. Then, once we arrive there, we look for a, a big clearing over to the west. Well, that shouldn't be too hard, I think. Let's get some sleep now. We'll know more tomorrow. All right. Hey, wake up. The girl's coming. Well, did you get the map? No, nope, doesn't think he did. But that's impossible. He's got to have it. He's probably got it memorized. He just tells me where to head every once in a while. Yeah, but he's blind. He'll never be able to do the final part when inches count. He'll bring it out tomorrow, you'll see. I doubt it. He would have done it already. He trusts me completely. He's in love with me. Anyway. You'll come back tomorrow night, won't you, Rosie? Why should I, if I don't have the map? Even if you don't have it. All right, all right. See you tomorrow night. Come back here. <gasps> what the hell? Just a minute. Let me go. Rosie. What's the matter with you? You always did it with anyone who had a few dollars. Why not now? I tell you, I don't want to. Now get away from me, you filthy pig. <laughs> Damn. Indian. Let's get out of here. Listen, I'm not staying along with the blind man. There's Indians around. Come on. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of both of you. We'll follow you closer from now on.
Come on, this place looks empty enough, Joe. Can we spend the night here? Yes, I think so. Are you sure nobody's following us? Positive. All right, here we are. Sit down. Oh. Feels good. We're very close to the river now. Haven't seen the Indians yet, though. I'm afraid of them. Can you see the two rocks yet? Yes, they're a few miles off. <laughs> good. Tomorrow's a big day for us. And tonight won't be bad either. I'm making a fire so we can have something nice and hot to eat for a change. Good. Rosie, I've been wondering, what do you think would happen if Lou and all his men suddenly appeared? I've already told you he doesn't have any map, Lou. Let me get the money with him. Then the rest of you can step in. It just ain't the same thing. What's the difference? I don't like to watch what's going on. I like to make it happen. Well, this time, I don't see what else you can... What? What? What, what is it? <laughs> Let me go! Uh, hold oh, on, on there, little girl. Let me go! Let me go! There it is! Stop it! Take there it is! Oh, me. still, I... sweetheart! <laughs> <laughs> Lying bitch. <laughs> That's enough. Now get out of here. How about my money? My ten thousand dollars. You'll get ten thousand scars. Oh. Yeah, get out of here. Wait, you need any Indians along the way? You might make some money. All right, that's done. Let's get going fast. Hold on. Don't touch that rifle. If you think you're going to kill us and get the money for yourself, you've made a big mistake. Then we could kill him. That way we divide the money in three instead of four. But there are cases where people are better off if there are four of them and not three. <laughs> I imagine we're better off together. There's supposed to be some Indians around. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, I was forgetting all about those Indians. <laughs> That's fine, boys. <laughs> Nice to know we all trust each other. <laughs> when you stop to think about it, $25,000 a head isn't the worst thing that could happen, huh? What do you say? Uh-huh. Good enough. And so, we stick together, like four happy brothers. Satisfied? Joe, where are you? Joe! Sure, it's here. Of course. It has to be. It's written here. I measured it. From there to there. Come on.
Keep going. We got something. Go on, go on, hurry. <laughs> That's our money down there. Come on, come on, don't stop now. You're supposed to be blind. Pick up your gun. Pick up your gun. Rosie. And I believed. Rosie! 
We were meant to go on alone. 